what's going on everybody Donuch here welcome back to my channel so I just got done with a very 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 powerful meditation and um, it was much needed it was a uh, Buddhist meditating uh, Buddhist chanting meditation and I was listening to it and as I was listening to it I was just you know uh, sobbing uncontrollably just absolutely ballistic because of how much love and joy and connection I was feeling to the universe and um, it was definitely much needed because I was feeling some blockages and you know some some sadness and some pain that I was holding on to within my heart or my thymus as you would call it and uh, I feel like that meditation just cleared it out completely so I wanted to talk to you guys about um, that experience and uh, some stuff that's going on. So today is 1212 and today we have a very very powerful moon uh, that's going to be coming up later in the night and I'm sure most of you guys felt the energy last night of the moon. It was very powerful and uh, I definitely felt it and the moon has a very strong effect on me um, because I'm a I guess you know, I don't really believe too much in astrology, but I think that it has some merit and some effect on your consciousness um, because we are code and astrology is basically one way of just interpreting code. So I'm a water sign. I have multiple water. I have a lot of water in my chart. So that water, um, you know, it, uh, it shows up when the moon is acting funny and acting powerful. It definitely reflects that but anyway so this moon is gonna be the last full moon of um, of 2019 and basically the last full moon of the decade and this moon this moon energy is bringing in energy on releasing the old patterns of who you are and who you thought you were and now stepping into who you actually are and who you truly are so 2019 was like this year of healing and um, understanding that what we are is now slowly being revealed to us, who we truly are, what our true soul purpose is, and what our mission is on this planet. So that's something that's definitely happening for myself as well. I mean, I'm just going with the flow and every day the universe seems to be uncovering and unraveling a new piece and it's like this magical game that I'm playing. And um, one of the things that I really, really started to <coughs> excuse me, connect with in my meditation, which I just finished up, um, was this, this idea that I am not, I'm not the one in control here, okay? So you are not the one in control here either. And these trees are now starting to, you know, move and interact with me as I walk by them. But the thing is that our egos, we are so worried, we're so, we try to control everything, we try to understand the plan and the, the goals and the end game and all this stuff. And one of the things that was happening while I was meditating, while I was listening to these Buddhist chants, um, was that, first of all, I just started sobbing unconditionally or uncontrollably with tears. And at first the tears were just a pure love and then they were sadness, and then they were love and sadness at the same time, and then they were just like bliss and joy, and I just, I couldn't stop smiling, and like, my face, I, I had the biggest grin on my face that I've ever had in my life, and it's just because I could feel so much unconditional love, and so much love through the universe, and the universe is truly, truly just pure unconditional love, I mean, that is what it is. It's, that's what it's made out of. So it's like when you just feel a fraction of that, that amount of love, and not to say that I don't feel love normally, but when you when you are really tuned into that love force, it's it's overwhelming for a human being. Our our little souls are just not, uh, you know, they're not capable of feeling so much love, and when you do. You're just like, there is something so much grander than me, but also it is me that is just orchestrating and playing everything out. 
And um, that's the thing. Like, you're not really in control of your your destiny and your your life. Like, you may think that you are. And sure, you can make choices and stuff. But ultimately, it is the universe making choices through you. And um, if you really... I mean, the best way to really... Um, become the person that you're meant to be is to simply tap into love and tap into true 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 universal love which what i did was basically so since you have your heart chakra or your thymus you can feel right now as you're watching this video does it feel heavy does it feel light does it feel open does it feel contracted does it feel tight does it feel stiff does it feel free right now i can tell mine feels open and it's starting to blossom like there's energy that's just going through it and it's like a flower it's starting to bud so before i did this meditation i could feel it was it was still contracted because i was holding on to some issues and to some pain and um you know you can't force love through until you clean out those old energies so what i was doing was I was simply just laying there and I had my eyes closed and I had my headphones on and usually I don't meditate with uh, music or anything but this time I felt called to do it and I was just laying there and allowing that energy to just flow through me and it was just bursting my chest open like the energy was just flowing with the love and um, it was just an incredible experience. I'm still, you know, recalibrating back to normal. And um, in those moments, you really do feel completely whole and at peace with everything. And you just know that, you know, all my worries, all my doubts, all my insecurities, all of my, um, you know, just lack of faith in the universe is just nonsense. Because when you're in the presence of the universe and you're fully connected, you know that you're exactly where you need to be, you're doing exactly what you need to be doing, and that all you have to do is follow the path that the universe has laid out for you. Because you are the universe, and the universe is a part of you. And it's, it's just crazy, so... This particular day, with this particular moon, is going to be super important for people to learn to recognize the energies which are holding you back and holding your old lifestyle, your old 3D lifestyle. If you have people in your life that are bringing negativity to you or being, you know, feel, feeling like you are feeling contracted. Like, this is the way I would, um, I would determine if this person needs to be in your life or not. If when you're around them, do you feel like you're being contracted or you're expanding? And if you are expanding, keep them in your life. If you feel like you have to contract yourself and contract your truth and contract who you are, let them go. And you will, you will, uh, you will thank yourself for that decision because that is going to be the ultimate best thing you do. And when you let go of people that are no longer serving you, the universe will bring new people towards you. When you let go of situations or concepts or ideas that make you feel like you're being contracted within your heart. Then you're going to finally be able to be open to your true, to your true self and to your true truth. True truth, that's funny. So, yeah. Kind of wanted to just make this video to let you know that, you know, connecting to unconditional love and to the true universal love is the most important thing and how to do it. Well, I'm going to leave a link in the description of that meditation that I used. And <clears throat> I'm not saying that you have to use this one. This is just the one that resonated with me. And um, listen to it and focus on your center and put the intention of releasing those blockages and that stuff that is holding you back and holding you down. And once you finally feel like you've got it, just allow the universe to just flow through you. Allow the love to just flow through you and uh, blossom like a flower. So I hope you guys all have a great day. And um, I hope you guys use this day and this powerful lunar energy to transform into the true selves that you are meant to be. Much, much, much unconditional love.